simple, savory Roman cuisine stimulates all the senses at Mita. You can see, you can smell, you can taste, you can feel, um, and it comes right up to your table as soon as it comes off the pass. So it's Chef and owner Douglas Williams first opened Mita in Boston's South End in 2016. In June 2021, he expanded to this second location in Newton. This is the um, older, maybe more mature sister of the South End. It's on the corner, a lot of windows, so they're, they have the same genetic line. This one has a bit more opulence, a bit more decadence that we actually want to embrace. In the fall of 2020, Williams showed us the space while it was still under construction. Where it's gonna be a live kitchen, a pizza oven, uh, stoves, pasta stations, uh, salad, antipasto stations, all gonna be along this wall. Um, just a lot of action showing into the rest of the dining room. And the pizzas will just be flying out of here um, into the rest of the dining room and everybody will see them coming out steaming hot. A vision now fully realized. Mita Newton occupies a bigger space than its city sibling, which provides Williams with enough room to bring in a triple stack oven and add pizza to the menu. Pizzas allow us a whole different avenue for expression, for creativity. And it's a combination of kind of the New Jersey where I come from, the New York, which everyone knows. You know, Boston has its own compartment in there. And then New Haven is its just way left, totally different thing. And we try to combine those to create our own style. That unique pie style is fortified by the dishes Mita is known for, including the lavish antipasti. I just love digging in and getting in there, especially when there's other people sharing. I just, there's nothing really much better than that. There's also handmade pastas. The poached yellowfin tuna puttanesca is tossed with San Marzano tomatoes, olives, and chili flakes. Just the harmony, the texture, the al dente of the type of noodles, which is bucatini, so it holds a little bit of sauce inside the noodle. The pockery bolognese is topped with broccoli rob and breadcrumbs. It's just one of the most simplest dishes, but it is so heartwarming. It warms your belly. It is unreal. Meals meant to satiate the appetite and help guests reconnect to one another and the community. We're trying to make sure we involve ourselves and, and weave ourselves within the fabric of the city, not just the place and where we are, but uh, within the emotional piece, right? Within hearts, within how people enjoy themselves. In Italian, Mida means generosity. Here, that spirit warmly welcomes up to 160 guests inside and on the patios. When you see those four letters, Mida, you know that you're walking into a place that um, obviously you know it's Italian. Of course we have pizza and of course we have pasta, but we also have just warmth, world-class hospitality and world-class food done in neighborhood setting. I love where it's going and I feel very grateful for that. And we also want to you know, try to expand on that. I'm excited about what the future holds. The same team that brought old world elegance to Contessa at the Newbury Hotel in Boston is behind a new culinary venture in Burlington, Parm. Parm is meant to be approachable. It's meant to be something that reminds you of a moment in time but better than you remember it being on your fork. Jeremy Schrager is the culinary operations manager at Mario Carbone's New York-based major food group. Parm is for everybody. It's the kind of spot that you can come in, grab a quick bite for lunch at the bar, maybe get a drink, or you can sit down with your family and have a Sunday dinner here. Located on the perimeter of the Burlington Mall, the menu inside features Italian-American soul food focused on the classics. We don't really live in an era anymore of invention. We live in an era of refinement. The food that we prepare is an elevated version of very traditional dishes you find all the time. Farm's meatball sandwich is served on custom-made sesame seed bread. You bite into it and you feel that blast of sesame, soft bun, really nice. The crispy chicken parm is served with a side of pasta coated in a special house sauce. We sell more of those than anything else. People love them. The rigatoni carbone is steeped in a spicy pink vodka sauce. When you come into parm, you're here to have a meal that's going to make you smile and fill your belly. You're here to enjoy yourself, to relax. Major food group started with just one restaurant in New York, expanding to seven cities worldwide in just a decade. All I'll say is that major food group grows quickly and when we find a space that we like, we move on it fast. We really are geared up to, to be here for the community. There's so much energy in this area, we're ready for it. 
Wow, and Parm likes Massachusetts because they're opening a second location in Boston's Copley Plaza in June. And back to Mita, they're thinking about expanding wow. again as well. Chef owner Douglas Williams looking at East Boston could be coming your way.